Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 9 says this, Keep therefore the words of this covenant and do them that ye may prosper in all that ye do. Man, what a great promise. My name is Charles Vance. I'm along with Chief Strategist Terry Saka, and you are watching The Wealth Transfer. Terry, good to see you today. Good to see you, Charles. Good evening, and uh, welcome to The Wealth Transfer. Uh, biblical principles, uh, you know, global economics, and uh, trying to get people to understand um, how to protect and preserve your family. And we have been on the history of money, and I have to say probably the last couple of weeks, um, we haven't really hit as hard on the actual history component uh, because we kind of been you know, involved in is more of the biblical uh, aspect of it because Charles and I both very passionate uh, about the Word, what the Word says about you and us, what the Word says about God's love for His people and how He wants you not only to be prosperous, but to have joy and to be happy. And so we're really passionate. We get into that angle, and we'll get back to a little more of the history this time uh, today. But um, just know that uh, it really does start in the Word. Everything else comes from there. And this wealth transfer is very, very real, and it's going to be an unprecedented event. You're never going to see this again, what's coming. I don't know when. I, I, I just, it's not about if. It's really a matter of when. Because of the trillions and trillions of trillions of dollars we've printed. And what's, what people don't understand is not just about printing the trillions of dollars. It's about the fact that baby boomers are retiring 10000 every day. Coming off of taxes, going on to liabilities like Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. They don't understand that we're spending a trillion dollars a year on welfare. Exploded food programs and welfare programs, unbelievably. We are moving in a really serious socialist angle of a nation because we're in a lot of trouble economically and they're just not feeding you truth. It's a Babylon truth, which means it's mostly false. So what we're trying to say is a body of Christ, get your assets prepared, have proper knowledge and education for what's coming because you, this God wants you to prosper, but you better be in the right information channel in order to be able to do that. And the world system is feeding you. As you I love that analogy you did last week. Um, you know, like rat poison, they give you 5% poison, the rest of it's good meal, what you want to hear, and then of course you die. I think they're giving us probably more poison than the 5%. <laughs> I would agree, I, yeah. I, I, they're really getting a lot of poison oh, Charles, uh, from the I system. Tell you. It's just crazy the lies that we hear, and you don't really have to dig very far to find truth concerning yeah. our financial system, what's mm -hmm. going on with the government. Yes. Uh, they really try to. Uh, it, it amazes me how that these people will come out. You know, we talked, I think, a couple of weeks ago about just for a few moments about QE. Uh, is that is that what they use? Quantitative They're using easing? a word called quantitative easing, and, and, and it's and been basically means we're going to print trillions of dollars. Nobody out of thin knows air. what that means. Yeah, uh, and they use these terms that they make up, uh, or I think they make them up. Uh, to uh, so that the inner circle knows what they're talking about, but people as far as outside, so oh, we nothing. got this easing, all oh, the easing of the financial system. Right. It's not the easing of it; they're destroying the financial system. Well, and system. what's comical is since they started the QE, gas has gone from one dollar to four dollars, food has gone up, unemployment skyrocketing. So yeah, this is a very deceiving language that that we run in our system now. And I know there's a lot of good people in government. There really are. There are a lot of good people individually, but what's happened is the system, because it's Babylonian, the system, because it's under the Luciferian, um, you know, Satan's God of the world, the system chews it up and then spits out this false doctrine, this attack on Christianity, this attack on our wealth, because I really believe attacking our wealth as one of the strongest Christian nations in history Attacking our wealth brings us down, marginalizes us as a powerful nation, marginalizes us as Christians. And so we as the body of Christ must be protected in order to make sure that when this monetary system flips, we're able to have the wealth in order to rise and maintain that Jesus Christ is Lord. Because if we get overly marginalized as the body of Christ, we are going to get smoked way more than we're already getting as far as in, in uh, persecution. The last few weeks, Terry, you've been talking about how the monetary system is doomed to collapse. The, the, and it's not just 
the Federal Reserve Bank, which is in uh, the America side of, mm -hmm. the, of the globe here, Canada, uh, mm -hmm. every, yeah. every, every nation. Uh, really, it's the West that, mainly. Yeah, I have a map we did, I, I believe, a, a, a few weeks ago. We showed a map of the world, and there's red hot spots in the Europe and in the Americas. And it's because we become this debt society, this debt deficit spending. This deficit spending doesn't work. Every great nation has always Here, collapsed. Stop and ask this question. Does it work at the house? That's the whole you, point. You, I can't do that and no, keep doing it. No, can we it? print money? After a while, you bankrupt. Right. And when you bankrupt, what you do is you say, I can't pay you. Yeah. Now, if the government or the Federal Reserve banking system does that, what's the American person going to do? Now, they're going to kick the can down the road. What we've successfully done is we are kicking, as they say, kick the can down the road. They've done it quite well. And could we keep doing it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, are we ever going to be able to recover from this? No. But there is Can't. inflation that is constantly yes. taking place. And, and this is the and, point. And yes. what that means is, is uh, that something that is tangible continues to increase in value where it mm -hmm. appears to increase in value. What it does is retain the same value. That's right. <clears throat> a, a kernel of corn is still worth a kernel of a corn to me or mm -hmm. a, a bean or a bag of beans. Yes. It still has the same value to my body or to my existence. Yes. But it, it keeps going up. It takes more of these to buy it. That's right. And it's because they keep printing this, this quantitative yeah. easing where, and you know what? I saw an article uh, a couple of months ago that said uh, that they had reduced that by $10 billion a month. And they made and that it, look positive. And it made the stock market go up. Yeah, they're trying to make it look positive, saying, yeah, oh, we're in better shape, so we reduce the money printing. The fact is, we're printing $75 billion a month. People can't comprehend that amount of money. They can't. We're in this, as we were talking about in the history of money, we're in this cycle of the dollar standard. And this dollar standard meaning we're in fiat fake world of just money. This isn't money. This is currency. Currency is what they're saying, go spend. Two-thirds of everything we have printed is overseas. When the world changes their mind about wanting to own these, and it is happening, I have in this, in this package right here, for those that have IRAs, by the way, 401ks to protect, you can roll them over into these precious metals, by the way, for long-term storage. But we have in this package, just register and give us a call, and we'll, we'll send it out to you. Uh, for long term, you're going to want to shift for that per, uh, for that family personal protection. We have in there a document that shows 11 agreements already that the world, China, Brazil, Russia, India, that have already forged agreements not to use the American dollar anymore. The time is coming. So when two-thirds of the world, two-thirds of the money we print is overseas, when this money starts coming home, explosive inflation takes place. The government can't just, you know, when that money comes home, it's called hot money. And it's going to cause tremendous inflation. Too much of this chasing too few goods. And this is why this is so important. This same thing happened in the, in the history when the French uh, President de Gaulle said, we're printing too much of this. We don't have the gold to back it up like we were supposed to. I want my gold back. And all of a sudden, all these dollars started coming back to us. And President Nixon panicked and said, well, shoot, we did print more than gold we have. Now, they probably won't ever admit that, but that's why they took us off the gold standard. They tried to say it was because they're manipulating the price of currency by sending us you know, these back and taking gold. But no, no, no. The fact was we printed more than gold we had and we would have been found out to be fraudulent if we didn't end it. So they canceled the gold standard back then in 1971 and put us on this 100% currency fiat system. There is no standard of exchange now whatsoever with, with Federal Reserve notes. No, nothing, and, and, nothing at and all. And none with any nation that is printing, the, no. that, that the federal banks in the nations are printing Now here's the where world. the elitists have, have somehow succeeded. They have now, in this new monetary system globally, have convinced the world that fiat is the way to go. Digitizing. Uh, I have a, a client that calls it digitizing. All my money is that's in a bank is digits in the cosmos. I want honest assets. Mm -hmm. Hey, guy, two, eight. And that's why, you know, they came in. They didn't, didn't somebody, somebody, uh, one of my real estate guys told me 
that uh, somebody invented or came up with a thing called Bitcoin. Am I saying the right yeah, words? Yeah, Bitcoin is a digital currency, and it actually started through Thomas Edison uh, way in the back of the day. He was trying to find a way to get around these governments printing things out of nothing, causing their people's wealth to be uh, deteriorated to nothing. It never went away. You Thomas Edison or, or Henry Ford? I think it was Thomas Edison, though. And this Bitcoin is catching on. I can tell you right it's, now. It's cyber money, though. It's right cyber now, right? money. It's, it's no nation owns it. It's supposed to be backed by commodities, which is interesting, isn't it? That's how money was always created. But I can tell you right now, number one, the IRS <laughs> or federal governments will never allow it to exist because it's anonymous money. And you just can't do that. So we live in a certain world of parameter, and, you know, they're going to take you down. So you better, you know, do it straight up. Bitcoin will never survive unless there's a global revolution because um, governments will have control. So what we're trying to say is we're not going to overthrow the systems. Forget that. Forget all of that. You're not doing it. If we were going to maintain as the body of Christ, we should have been doing it all along. Why did we allow them to take Jesus out of school? Why did we allow them to marginalize the church and God in our policies? Why do we allow them to marginalize the Ten Commandments out of places? Just go look at the Capitol building in the scriptures, okay? So let's get real. If we were really going to do it, I think we would have been doing it over the last 60 years. So forget this whole concept of we're going to take over the government and have this. It's ridiculous. How about if they're going to do it in print and destroy the system, create a new one, fine. You're not stopping it. They're too powerful. Get on the right side of the fence and protect your assets and become wealthy. They're not going to care about you, that you have created wealth. They're just going to tax it anyway in the future. So what? Right? What Caesar's is Caesar's. Give it to them. But your quality of life will be protected. Your inheritance to your children's children will be protected. And you can only do that through education and through protecting those IRAs and 401ks because those are long term. So for those that have asked us to protect in your IRAs and you want to be there for the body of Christ yourself and your family long term and hard asset, you can seamlessly roll it over. Give us a call, register on the website. We'll send this package out that is loaded with the data that'll give you the confidence to make those decisions. Terry, people with wealth have a voice. Yes. Uh, whether they're heathen wealth, mm -hmm. uh, people with wealth, uh, people that are demonic with wealth, mm -hmm. they have a voice. Uh, it amazes me that such a small percentage of the population is living a homosexual lifestyle, but yet many of them are wealthy and because of it they have a very loud voice that seems to suppress what other people believe concerning it. And you know, we have a few, uh, there's a lot of people who do do that in the voice. Um, I know, God bless Chick-fil-A, Hobby Amen. Lobby, yes. Caterpillar, these people, people that, that are fire, on fire for Christians, yes. and they're not afraid to say what the Bible says is true. Yes. And it's not about hate. And it's not necessarily that they're, they're afraid even. No, they're not. would be afraid. No. But they have the ability to have an, a, a voice. Yes. Because they're wealthy. That's right. And people that are wealthy, it doesn't make any difference where you come from. You have a voice. And don't let them fool us as Christians, the body of Christ, and try to say what's in the Bible hates a certain group or a people. Absolutely. Absolutely not. not. I don't care if you're no. worshiping a false god. There's no hate there. Matter of fact, there's compassion and love. Mm -hmm. Christians should never hate anything or body. I don't care what it is. It's an alternative Absolutely. lifestyle they try to say. Thank you. It may be an abomination to the Lord, but you don't hate that person. And God doesn't you, hate them. God doesn't hate them. Criminals, people who worship false gods, we don't hate you love them, and it's your love for their salvation that wants you to share the truth Absolutely. of the Word of them. Thank That's you. it. Thank you. When Thank they you. try to twist it and make it hate, <laughs> they're the ones that are haters yeah. because Christians love, and that's because we love them so much that we want to help their soul be saved. And all through history, Yahweh has always been proven to be the one and only God. Jesus took back the authority from Satan. Time is limited. I'm even, I told my family that. I'm like, ah, hopefully we'll be raptured by then. Uh, but in the meantime, we're getting ready to go through a shift. And you must understand the history mm -hmm. of this money to, to catch that shift. So we're off the gold standard. We're on the dollar standard now. 
We're in this paper fake world and there's nothing real about it. And we must be prepared as the body of Christ to handle the shift that's getting ready to take place in order to be able to spread the word. Because remember, we're in authority. We're in authority over this earth. By the blood of Christ, we have prosperity, peace, and joy amongst all this chaos. Terry, sometimes people uh, think that all they have to do is be spiritually right in order to have all of the promises of God's word come to pass in their life. That's not belief. That's, that's not true. Yeah, belief is taking it, action. You, you have to position yourself materially or financially, and you have to p position yourself spiritually for wealth transfer to take place. Amen. Wealth transfer can't take place just because your heart is right doesn't mean your finances are it's right. It's just like sometimes people say, well, I'm a good person, so I'll end up exactly. in heaven. And that's not what the Bible says, right? No. Your heart may be right, but if you're not applying the principles of the Word, then you're missing out on opportunity. And that's the spiritual warfare of our society. You have to understand, you know, the devil goes after Christians the most because of this. And, you know, it's all the warfare. But you have to take steps, act of faith and belief. Get proper education. You see, watch where you're getting your information. You're being fed through the Babylonian system of the world. 5% true, half 40% true, mostly lie. It's deceiving. Maybe 5% true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm amazed. But, you know, right now, you, they're telling you, like, they'll tell you for the most part, the, the, the market system, they try to tell you this is a commodity. That's what they say. This well, is a commodity. What's their definition of that? A commodity is something that we use, like, um, that we use for, you know, like food, gas, oil, that these are commodities. Oh, something that would used, be used up. You'd be used up. up. Okay, now, got you. actually, silver is. We used to have 8 billion ounces above ground. We barely have 700 million, and they're microscopically mining it. This is actually disappearing, and the sad part is silver is the only metal known to man that does what it does in electronics, medical technology, um, infrared, not infrared, but solar panel systems, new age technologies that they're coming. Uh, I know China's coming up with the photoclavic cell that generates electricity from the sun, silver, and yet they're not getting it out of the ground anymore. It is going to be extremely valuable in the future, and that's why, of course, having that in your IRA or portfolio long term will prove to be valuable, let alone protection against the dollar collapse, but more importantly, it's a finite resource. But they're trying to tell us it's a, and so for that matter, register on our website, give us a call. We'll send out a package that shows you how to roll over your IRAs, 401ks into these type of hard assets seamlessly, let alone data that backs up why we're saying what we're saying. And you could own this in your IRA because remember, it's not a commodity. Now it's being used as one, but it's not. It's actually money. All through history it has been. Now, our government will tell you, and they've gone on record doing it, this is not money any longer. They'll say it. But just January, gold has been made a tier one asset again, meaning it's equivalent in, in transactions, financial transactions as a collateral, as a bond would be, or a currency cash. Convenient, and they say it's not money, right? I'd rather have gold than a bond. I, absolutely, right? <laughs> a bond is nothing but an IOU from somebody you can't trust. Yeah. This is more money than gold because it's finite and used industrially in almost everything we do. Your cell phone, your television, your electronics does not function without silver. It's the only thing at a high level of heat that takes the integrity, copper and all that crack. So it's, a, it's really interesting. They say it's not money, but I'm telling you through history... From Lydia, the Greeks, Romans, up until 1967, when this was actually our money, and the silver certificate, remember, it's always been money, but it's not only money, it's now industrially vital, and that's why I think they manipulate the price. But they can't manipulate forever, because sooner or later, who has their hand on it will be able to say, what's it worth to you? So it's important to understand that now, because the world is turning on the dollar. So in this process of the history of money, they definitely are turning on the dollar and all these agreements. We have them in the package too, all these agreements that are going on and it keeps happening. China, Japan, Australia, Austria, unbelievable stuff is taking place globally where even the yuan is surpassed, has surpassed the euro as preferred currency 
uh, for international trade and finance. What's the one? Who is that? It's the Chinese renminbi, okay. uh, you know, however they put it. And people say, oh, the Chinese have inflation. They have their problems. But I'm going to tell you one thing. They may have cities they built, and I mean they're beautiful. Research them. Gorgeous, state-of-the-art cities. Nobody lives in them. And people say, see, see, they're getting ready to collapse. You know what I say? See, see, they're getting prepared. Because when the time comes where they become a more dominant force in trade, oh, and by the way, Chinese have surpassed the United States as the largest international trader, exporter. That, that means so, that they're being more productive. They're more productive than we are. And so they have these cities that are sitting there with nobody in them. I say they didn't overbuild. I say they're getting ready. Because when the time comes, they'll bring all the people into those cities that will then start running operations and things for the, for the, when they start moving. So this is a battle. This is a battle between the West and the East. This is a 500-year cycle I see going back to Genesis, um, shifting of power. And we're not giving it up easily, and nor do we the people want to give it up, of course, because we're Americans. We believe in what we do. But the only reason that America was great, because we stood up for Israel, and we made Jesus Christ the center of our Constitution in our life. George Washington actually got on his knees and made an oath and a covenant with God. And we have busted that and it goes into the harbingers and it goes back to Isaiah in prophecy. And we are going to get hurt because God's going to step back and the devil's going to move in. He's already moving in. And so we're going to see this. Now, only now, those the, that are protected in, will have In that. the midst of that, I want to say... Yeah that there, and you were beginning to say this, but in the midst of that, there's going to be a thousand that can fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand. Man. And David said, David said, it will not come near Amen. me. Amen. And it's simply because I'm walking in the truth of God's yes. Word. And, and we opened up this with Deuteronomy chapter 29. It's our responsibility to follow the instruction of the Lord mm -hmm. as an individual. You know, we have people say, well, you know, he's not doing it, he's not doing it. I've seen companies collapse because someone say, you make him work and I'll start working. If he doesn't work, I'm not working. Well, the whole company stops. We yeah. have a responsibility as individuals. I've heard people say, well, everybody's doing it. Hey, if God says don't do it, then don't do it. If mm -hmm. God says to do it and everybody's not doing it, then you do it. Thank and you, God Charles. will single you out yeah. and pour blessings into your life that will be absolutely extraordinary. I tell you, a lot of people say that, you know, well, nobody's doing this, or I don't know anyone doing yeah. this or that. And, yeah, you see gold commercials on TV all the time. It's not the, but you'd be surprised less than 1% are really doing it. If, if really a large percentage of our population was really buying hard assets, um, they would shut it down. So, you know, governments are there to survive. Remember, it's 20% elitists to the 80% who are going to be marginalized. And it's really the, pers the people getting squeezed the most right now are the middle class. So, you know, the wealthy are getting wealthier. And it's we, the middle class. I mean, I grew up, you know, middle class Detroit. And uh, look at Detroit now. I mean, I'm an automotive kid, you know. And, you know, I, I believe in the prosperity of the Lord, absolutely. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I'm a middle class kid in my root. And uh, we are the ones being marginalized out. And this is what we don't want to see and why we need to have protection and have our hard assets like IRAs, 401k shifted into hard tangible assets. So register on the website, give us a call, we'll send out a package that'll help guide you through that process. Terry, people should know that your company, you actually own Cornerstone Asset Metals and uh, you guys are precious metal dealers. You can put, I've had people ask me, what if you put this stuff in a vault? How do you use it if you'd ever want to use it? You just sell it and it converts to the currency value the, at the time. At the time. Yeah. So, so it, either way, very simple problem. it's a storage of, of, why store your money or your wealth? Why store your wealth in fiat money, in bonds, bank. or stocks in a bank? Because yeah. if you knew about the banking system, you wouldn't want we to include that, anyway. that. If you knew the new banking <laughs> rules, you would never want to have a extra savings in the bank because that's very dangerous. You just told me that, the, that they've come up with some, the, the laws are already on the books. Oh, it's called bail-ins. It's going to be a tax on savers who have cash in the bank. So they've already done it. So it's just a matter of understanding that. And we, it's part of the package too. Remember, wealth is never destroyed. It just changes hands. And currently the U.S. is about 60% of the value of all currency on earth. And more than half of that, uh, now it's more than two thirds of that reside outside of the uh, borders of the United States. So when that currency starts to come back as it did in the 60s, you're going to see tremendous inflation. And this is what we believe is happening because the agreements are already in place. They're already getting away from the dollar. Uh, central banks use it as a reserve currency for crude oil. 
But I'm telling you, that's getting ready to change as well, that relationship. And this whole Middle East dynamic is because of crude oil and the dollar, because every nation needs a dollar to buy a barrel of oil. And that's going to probably be changing quite soon here, too. And then all those dollars are going to come back on that term. So there's so many um, things that are attached to the dollar and the, the high probability that we're going to be compromised. That's why we need to be properly protected. Now, oil is in that. And let's do this. Let's show image number 11, if we could. Um, this is known as the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. These nations are avoiding using the dollar in their trade and now using their own currencies. So if we could boot it up, this is it right there. That's the fifth BRICS summit that happened in 2013 in Durban, South Africa. And those are the leaders. I want you to look at that. They have all agreed not to use the dollar. There's India on the left, China, South Africa, um, uh, Russia on the right. So you see where we're at. This is not good. So you could take that off. That is the BRIC nations. They've agreed to no longer use the dollar in trade. They are now using their own currencies. This is really important because why would they want to have, you know, billions and hundreds of billions of dollars in reserve if they don't need it anymore for trade? The only reason they need dollars in reserve right now is for crude oil. And I say that relationship is on the brink of destruction because the king in Saudi Arabia is really old and you may you're having a lot of revolution over there in the Middle East and it doesn't look like it's favoring us very well so you have to understand that they use it as settlement issues for trade but they're not doing it anymore this is the evidence that it's coming and coming quickly now the wand just passed the euros we talked about in international trade and finance and uh, you know a matter of fact, as a piece of trivia, in 2002, it's kind of convenient we went to war just after this, by the way. In 2002, Iraq was selling their oil for euros, not dollars. And then conveniently, what happened? We went to war with Iraq, didn't we? This is, I'm, there's, there's relationships here. Know that. We went to war in 2003, right after that started. You don't think there's a connection? It's bigger than you know. Get protected for the future. Register on a website. Give us a call. We'll send out this package. Roll over your IRAs, your 401ks, and the hard, tangible assets. If you knew the dynamics of the world, this is the only place you're going to be safe. Hard assets. Okay? If you haven't made Jesus Christ the center of your life, ask him in. This truth will set you free. Bring peace to your soul. God bless you tonight. Tell somebody about the wealth transfer. You'll uh, find me and Terry right here uh, every week uh, at this same time on this station. You can get more information about what we've been talking about uh, by going to our website. And remember to join us next week, same place, same time, for the wealth transfer. We'll see you then.